we got a new sign and an awesome tour gate. Hey, if you like koi, if you like ponds, you like DIY, hit subscribe right now. Check out the video. This is gonna be nice. And welcome back to Cape Fear Koi. All right, so check this out. We just made a Tory gate. Um, it's 12 feet tall by 13 feet wide. Uh, it's really, really cool. Um, it's gonna be the entrance to our side yard here to the pond. So uh, let's go check this sign out real quick. So I'm in a kind of a, a tricky situation where I've got irregular ground right here. So what I'm going to do is bury all my boards or beams roughly three feet. And then I'm going to measure from the very top to eight feet. So I know I've got a mark over there at, at eight feet down from the top. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to mark eight feet down from the top, set it in my hole. And then I'm going to take a two by six or two by eight over there and uh, I'm gonna sit them level on both marks and that's gonna keep me level and I'm gonna use those marks to see where I am as far as level goes and all my tops then will will hit just right and then I can set all my boards up top. Just like that, that's all it is. Yeah. And we're a little low here. Um, so well, two and a half inches. It's showing that this here is high by about two and a half inches. So we're just gonna, we're gonna, um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna lift this yeah. and throw sand underneath it. <laughs> So now we're going to wet the, the sand here or soil, whichever you have. And that's going to help. Right here is going to help pack all the sand, get all the air out. You can do that a couple times. Take a stick and make sure it's packed tight. See all the air? Right here. Getting everything plumb on both sides. There we go. All right, second post, nice and plumb. So this one needs a slight adjustment right here. Once that's done, we're good. Okay, so here we're gonna put an angle on the saw. We're gonna do it at 15 degrees. So you loosen this butterfly nut. This is tightening now, but you loosen it, line it up to this line, to that line. That gives you, gives you your, your degree. And then here, we run it right along this line here. And that's gonna give us that slight angle on the end.
Babe, can you get me another battery? Now we got them all cut and sliced. Now we're gonna run it to the top. Um, I've got it marked from the sh short point at eight inches. I think that was the goal. So we're gonna use our marks to gauge where we need to put them up at the top. So let's hope for the best. All right, so it's been a couple of days since we were on this year. Uh, we had a hurricane uh, swing on by. It was kind of unexpected. It, it kind of popped up. I was supposed to break away, and all of a sudden it became a Category 2 at one point. We hit Florida and then went up the coast. And uh, so we actually put this, these lower horizontals, we put them up um, right before the hurricane, just a few hours before it got here. So I wanted to test it and make sure it was good. We had winds of uh, close to 100 miles an hour. I think, I think 97 was our, our fastest. So it's up. Now I've got some scrap pieces that I'm going to put in the center pieces right here. I got some some remnants uh, cut off some for some beams or from some beams for the ponds that I had. So we're going to use them, uh, sandwich a couple in between here and uh, pretty them up and it's going to look really cool. So I'll show you the little scraps we got. All right. So these are the random pieces of lumber I have in my scrap pile. That's why I always keep keep pieces. You just never know what you're going to be able to do with them. So I'm going to cut them up and put them in. All right, presetting the screws for easy install. All right, I'm gonna get a ladder go to the upper and screw from the top into this and then that's it that's all we're gonna do then we can hang our sign next okay let's go check out this sign it's awesome this piece came from um, a big hickory tree from uh, hurricane florence so uh, it has since been milled. She sanded it down, uh, hand painted the logo, uh, and then she actually gave me a, a, a print and uh, I'm gonna hang that up in the house too. So this is a really cool piece. We're gonna put some stainless steel eyes and uh, hang them in some hooks and we're gonna hang them up from the top at, at the entrance and uh, let's go see what we got. All right, so this is it right here. This is huge. It's um, I think 44 inches by 17 to 18 wide and, and two inches thick. I mean, that is a slab. This thing weighs about, about 40, 45 pounds. So uh, this is what we're gonna hang them with right here. We're gonna, we have our pre-drill. We're gonna pop this here and then we're gonna go a little bit wider. Actually, that's the first one. And then the second one, we're gonna put here and here. And then we will put that, hang it from right over here. And then we also have this really awesome piece. She gave us this. Uh, this is going to hang up in the house. You let go, shikis. It's out of this world. And uh, I'll zoom in and give you some information on her if any of you want to order 
her uh, any of her work. She also does commissions. Uh, she does a lot of custom for for uh, wood slabs like this. So if you're interested, I'll put a link up. And um, let's see if I can go right up. We'll say right there, and then um, check it out and check her out. All right, let's see what we do. Okay, so now I'm going to go 10 inches to keep it consistent. 10 inches from the outside edge, which is right here. Do that on both of them. I did a rough number and make sure. Ugh, hold steady. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take my drill bit, make sure that it goes in flat. This is gonna be my pre-drill, so this is gonna be my first one. And then the other one's gonna go a little bit larger. And then you wanna make sure when you do a, a pre-hole um, pre there, you see how this is still wider or larger. That way when it threads in, it's still gonna grab the wood. And then you don't want it to be too small because if you go ahead and put this in too small, it actually uh, get the wood and, and uh, split it. So you wanna make sure you have a good combination. You want these threads to really go in and, and lock in. measure up and get a look to see about where we're gonna go so we want to go about basically to the end of, of the threads get a number see where we are about well, again to the edge okay and that's one of them now for the next hole all right, so uh, a little, she's called a pro tip or so. Um, when you're trying to screw something in here and uh, you can't really get any leverage or strength on it, use uh, some kind of straight bar or big old screwdriver and get your leverage. And that'll help get that thing where you want it to go. Otherwise, you can see I'm already putting pressure. It'll be an issue. So this will help you a bunch. Okay, now that both eyes are in, now I have to measure the center of each bolt. So I go on the outside of this one and the inside of this one. And it is 26 and three quarters. So what I do is when I go on the inside of this one, the outside of that one, I actually can compute the two. And when I transfer it over ever so slightly, that's the center. So my next mark is gonna be 26 and three quarters and I go up on here. That's where I'm gonna put them right there. And also with uh, the, the hardware here, these are um, quick links, stainless steel quick links. And um, they're really nice as far as, th this will give me a little bit of leeway. If I'm off a quarter inch, you won't, you won't see the difference. And it's all stainless steel. So we're here near the coast. So uh, we have a lot of salt in the air. And uh, it also, even if you don't have salt in the air, the others will rust over time. Even the galvanized will, will tend to oxidize and then you'll get streams going down your, all down your, your, uh, your artwork. So um, it's really important to get these. These are more expensive. It's considerably more. For these six pieces of stainless, it cost me almost $40, but it's lifetime. I'll never have to worry about it again. So sometimes also, you know, time is money. So uh, do it right first time. Okay, so now we're doing our marking. So this is the center, and we know it's 26 and 3 quarters. So I got my center, and then I went half of, of 26 and 3 quarters, which is 13 and 3 eighths on this end, and 13 and 3 eighths on this end. So when I put the two together, I get my number that I want, and now it's time to pre-drill. Mm -hmm. Okay, moment of truth. Let's go. Let's get yours first, right there. Mm -hmm. Just 
All right, so real quick here, let me get the artist in here. This is her, Angela Ungren Fine Art. And her website is right there, AngelaUngrenArt.com. Uh, she's, as you can see, she's awesome. Uh, if you want custom stuff, make sure you check her out and uh, say hello. And so what we're gonna do here next is we're gonna paint this white. Um, White is the original color of the Tory gates. It is, uh, it's for sacred grounds, uh, entering into sacred grounds. And the, uh, most people are used to red. Um, red was used to, is used to ward off evil and it's uh, for prosperity. Uh, so, but we're gonna go with the white, the house and the trim and things is white too. And it just kind of blends in a little bit more. Um, but, uh, so we're gonna do this uh, this week. We're gonna paint it white. So be sure to hit subscribe for, if you haven't already, uh, for the, the update on when it looks or how it looks when it's all painted. That'll be hopefully this week. Uh, we got a, since the hurricane just came, um, our roof got damaged. So we've got uh, roofs to put on our place and our Airbnb. So we're a little busy at the moment, post hurricane, but, uh, but this is it overall. Uh, be sure to, like I said, subscribe to see the rest. Uh, if you like the video, uh, hit, um, sorry, hit the like button and, um, well, and I want to give a shout, let's see, to Cameron and Ken uh, for helping carry the lumber and do all that. And obviously Nicole behind the camera all the time and helping out. Uh, she's definitely an anchor for everything. So here we are, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. So see you next time. Cape Fruit Coy, enjoy.